Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. GoPro kills Karma and announces layoffs. Aerovironment announces joint venture and Solar Hell UAS development program. An active and lift to provide rides in self-driving vehicles during CES 2018. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. GoPro announced in its most recent earnings report that it is exiting the camera drone market after it sells off its existing drone inventory. The company is reportedly laying off between 200 and 300 people, mostly from the Karma segment of the business. The layoffs were announced in a letter from GoPro executives to employees affected by the move, which was called part of a larger restructuring to better align our resources with business requirements. In the earnings report, GoPro said that although Karma reached the number two market position in its price band in 2017, the product faces margin challenges in an extremely competitive aerial market. GoPro will continue to provide service and support to Karma customers. A number of employees have already been idled, but will be kept on the payroll until February 16th. The Karma drone was the subject of a massive recall late in 2016 after reports that the aircraft were failing in flight. The Karma was brought back to the market in February 2017. Sales of the Karma rebounded somewhat after the drone was reintroduced last year, but it has faced stiff competition by drone giant DJI, which released the Mavic and Spark drones last year, appealing to the same buyers as might have bought a Karma drone. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The U.S. Air Force has awarded a new $48 million contract to Aurora Flight Sciences for continued development of the Orion UAS. Orion is a twin-engine, high-performance UAS that can stay aloft over 100 hours at a time with payloads in excess of 1,000 pounds. Development of the Orion started in 2006, and its first flight was in August 2013. In December 2014, the Orion established the current UAS world endurance record with an 80-hour, 2-minute and 52-second flight. Kratos Defense and Security Solutions has been awarded a $93 million firm fixed price contract to procure advanced subscale aerial drone systems and unmanned target aircraft with launchers and associated ground equipment and spares. Bids were solicited via the internet with one received. Work locations and funding will be determined with each order, with an estimated completion date of December 17, 2022. A year ago, MacDill Air Force Base Commander Colonel April Vogel banned the recreational use of drones on the base, following an Air Force directive to develop policies for hobbyists to fly their aircraft. But now, base officials are considering loosening the outright ban. Base officials are now working with Air Mobility Command to see if any airspace at the base can be open to recreational drone flights. The Property Drone Consortium, a collaboration that consists of insurance carriers, roofing industry leaders, and sporting enterprises, announced today that it will sponsor and participate in the 2018 Public Safety UAS Conference to be held from March 5th through 7th, 2018 in Crozet, Virginia. Charles Mondello, president of the PDC, will present as part of a panel discussion on the subject of remote sensing with small UAS. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. AeroEvironment has formed a joint venture to develop solar-powered high-altitude long-endurance, or HEL UAS, for commercial operations. This category of UAS is also referred to as high-altitude pseudo-satellites, or HAPs. The joint venture will fund the development program up to a net maximum value of $65,011,481. This is a historic moment for AeroVironment. For many years, we have fully understood the incredible value high-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aircraft platforms could deliver to countless organizations and millions of people around the world through remote sensing and last-mile next-generation IoT connectivity, said AeroVironment Chief Executive Officer. 
AeroVironment pioneered the concept of high-altitude solar-powered UAS in the 1980s and developed and demonstrated multiple systems for NASA's Environmental Research, Aircraft and Sensor Technology, or ERAST, program in the late 1990s and early 2000s. In August 2001, the AeroVironment Helios prototype reached an altitude of 96,863 feet, setting the world record for sustained horizontal flight by a winged aircraft. In 2002, the AeroVironment Pathfinder Plus prototype performed the world's first UAS telecommunications demonstration at 65,000 feet by providing high-definition television signals, third-generation mobile voice, video and data, and high-speed internet connectivity during local winters when the sun's energy is insufficient to maintain continuous solar aircraft operation at high altitude. This is the week. The Consumer Electronics Show 2018 starts today in Las Vegas, Nevada. Aptiv and Lyft will partner to demonstrate a first-of-its-kind, fully automated, point-to-point ride-hailing experience, known as the Aptiv Lyft CES 2018 Automated Experience. Building off of a previous CES drives performed by Aptiv, including a 6.3-mile driving loop of city streets and highways in 2017, the Aptiv Lift CES 2018 Automated Experience will demonstrate Aptiv's automated system and Lyft's user platform to offer rides to more than 20 destinations throughout Las Vegas. Lyft's mission is to build the world's best transportation ecosystem in partnership with the most advanced self-driving technology and automotive companies, said Lyft CEO Logan Green. Before passengers ride in the vehicle, they will go through an informative exhibit designed to showcase the positive impact automated cars will have on individual lives and communities. Once in the vehicle, passengers will experience a seamless consumer experience to hail rides around the Las Vegas Strip area, thanks to Aptiv's automated driving platform being integrated with Lyft's smart dispatching technology. All rides will include a safety driver in the front seat, as well as an in-car host. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.